Good afternoon, sweeties, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, today I want to talk about relationships because I noticed that they got all these different new relationship shows on TV, so many different books. I deal with so many different people, talking with them, counseling them about relationships. And so many people out here is looking for the one, uh, their soulmate, and all these different types of things. But as people of God, he said, don't get counsel from the ungodly. You know, we got to seek godly counsel. And a lot of this information and stuff that you're getting from TV, from different books, you know, like Steve Harvey. I love Steve Harvey. But we can't go by his book. Really, his book is like game playing, you know, and I've never been a person for games. And God is not about games. So he wants us to come from a loving place when we are in relationships. You know, we must love, be patient, be kind, be gentle, be long suffering. You know, are you willing to be these things for somebody? Are you willing to be selfless? You know, I've noticed that a lot of people in their relationship, this is why they don't work. It's because most people are selfish. And that means you're self-serving. So if it does not serve a purpose for you, you don't want to do it. You know, you're going to have a problem with it. You're going to be argumentative about it. You know, can you be selfless? That's the opposite of being selfish. Selfless. Love is the opposite of being selfish. You know, the enemy's kingdom is all about what you're going to do for me. You know, how am I going to get something out of this? You know, and just like when you go to a job interview, sometimes they'll ask you, what do you have to offer this company? Well, sometimes you need to look at relationships like that. You want this certain type of man. You want this certain type of woman. But what do you have to offer them? What do you have to offer a relationship? You know, do you have love to give? Are you patient? Are you willing to be kind and gentle? Even when this person ain't being the best of person, can you forgive them? 70 times 70 every day, irregardless of what's going on. You know, if we first put God first and allow him to love us and we walk in love and love ourselves, we can't help but love somebody else. But as long as you be selfish and self-serving, it's going to be hard to really get a long lasting, good relationship. Most people don't want to build, you know, just like a house that you live in. It had to be built. So relationships has to be built. People are looking for this instant gratification. Oh, when I see you, you look good to me. I'm attracted to you. You're turning me on. I want to be with you. That's beyond their circumstances of what they really want. Because what most people want is really a long lasting relationship. But a lot of the things that they're looking for and a lot of things that they make the decision of who they want to be with is based on passing fleeting frivolous things such as looks change you know just like a baby a baby changes you have a baby within a year that baby looks different it changes and that's how we are in our flesh we change we look different we change we go through changes you know Emotionally, spiritually, everything we go through changes. So if you're not prepared for change, you're not prepared for a relationship because things are going to change. But if you keep that basic foundation of I'm going to love this person no matter what. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be kind. I'm going to be gentle. I'm going to be long suffering. You're going to live that scripture out. First Corinthians 13. You're going to be all those things to somebody else. And in turn, you reap what you sow, like the Bible said. So a lot of people don't want to sow anything, but they want to reap the benefits. So babies, learn that you need to sow. You know, you want love, sow love, and you'll reap it back a hundredfold. Babies, this is a long, broad topic. I just want to put some things out there to get people thinking because so many people are frustrated about the relationships they're in, relationships that they want to be in. But it all begins with you. Are you walking in love? You know, a lot of us don't even love ourselves. Do you love yourself? You know, I read some things on Facebook and Twitter yesterday about, you know, beating yourself up. You know, your self conversation that you're having in your mind. A lot of it is negative talk in your mind, talking about yourself. You know, just like me, I want to lose weight. So I'm in the process of doing things that I need to do to lose weight. But don't beat yourself up. 
You know, and I've learned that about myself. We fall, we get back up, we pick ourselves up and keep on going. You know, but we beat ourselves up and we get enough negative conversation from the outside of ourselves that we don't need to be doing it on the inside of ourselves, giving ourselves negative attitude and beating ourselves up and thinking negative towards ourselves. That's not too loving. So we need to love ourselves. And once we do that, we'll be able to love others. God said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So if you don't love yourself, it's really hard to love other people. You don't even know how to give love because you can't even give it to yourself. So babies, let's learn what love is. Let's not be self-serving or selfish, but be selfless and be loving. You know, and be willing to give and sow that that we want so that we can reap it back. Because what you sow, you reap. You know, a lot of people look at sowing as far as with money. But Sewing is also the things that you do, your attitude, you know, all these different things that you do in your life is sowing. And you reap what you sow. So if you sow a bad attitude, you reap a bad attitude back. You know, you sow love, you'll reap love back and on and on and on and on and on. So babies, learn to love yourself. Love yourself and then you'll learn to love your neighbor. And then when you do get a mate, you'll be willing to love them. You know, you got to be willing to go the extra mile. That's all I want to say today. Are you willing to do what you want others to do to you? You know, are you willing to give what you want others to give to you? You know, what are you going to bring to the table? Not so much what they're going to bring to the table. Are you willing to be selfless and not selfish? Well, babies, I love you. I hope that I wasn't too confusing today. I hope that you get something out of this video. And may we meet again. Smooches and love you, babies. Talk to you later, sugar wuggles.